Newark Liberty International Airport IATA, EWR, ICAO, KEWR, FAA LID, EWR, originally Newark Metropolitan Airport and later Newark International Airport, is the primary airport serving the U.S. state of New Jersey, and the secondary international airport serving New York City. The airport straddles the boundary between the cities of Newark and Elizabeth, the former of which is the most populous city in the state. The airport is owned jointly by the cities of Elizabeth and Newark and leased to and operated by the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. Newark Airport is located 75 miles 121 kilometers northeast of Philadelphia, 12 miles 19 kilometers west of New York City, and 3 miles 4.8 kilometers south of downtown Newark. It is one of three major airports serving the New York metropolitan area, the others being John F. Kennedy and LaGuardia in Queens, New York, both of which are also operated by the Port Authority. It also attracts a significant passenger base from the Philadelphia metropolitan area. In 2017, EWR was the 15th busiest airport in the United States, and the 43rd busiest airport in the world by passenger traffic, serving 43,393,499 passengers. Newark serves 50 carriers and is the third largest hub after Chicago O'Hare and Houston Intercontinental for United Airlines, which is the airport's largest tenant operating in all three of Newark's terminals. Newark's second largest tenant is FedEx Express, whose third largest cargo hub uses three buildings on 2 million square feet of airport property. During the 12-month period ending in July 2014, over 68% of all passengers at the airport were carried by United Airlines. History Early years Newark Metropolitan Airport opened October 1, 1928 on 68 acres 28 hectares of reclaimed land along the Passaic River, the first major airport serving passengers in the New York metro area. The Art Deco Newark Metropolitan Airport Administration Building, adorned with murals by Arshile Gorky, was built in 1934 and dedicated by Amelia Earhart in 1935. It served as the terminal until the opening of the North Terminal in 1953. It was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1979 and is now a museum and Port Authority Police Headquarters. Newark was the busiest commercial airport in the world until LaGuardia Airport opened in December 1939. The March 1939 official aviation guide shows 61 weekday departures on five airlines, but by mid 1940, passenger airlines had all left Newark. During World War II, the field was closed to commercial aviation while it was taken over by the United States Army for logistics operations. In 1945 captured German aircraft brought from Europe on HMS Reaper for evaluation under Operation Lusty were offloaded at Newark AAF and then flown or shipped to Freeman Field, Indiana or Naval Air Station Patuxent River, Maryland. The airlines returned to Newark in February 1946. In 1948, the city of Newark leased the airport to the Port of New York Authority now the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. As part of the deal, the Port Authority took operational control of the airport and began investing heavily in capital improvements, including new hangars, a new terminal and runway 420 seconds. The February 1947 C&GS diagram shows 5,940-foot runway 1, 7,900-foot runway 6 and 7,100-foot runway 10. On December 16, 1951 a Miami Airlines C-46 bound for Tampa lost a cylinder on takeoff from runway 28 and crashed in Elizabeth killing 56. On January 22, 1952 an American Airlines CV-240 crashed in Elizabeth, while on approach to runway 6 killing all 23 aboard and 7 on the ground. On February 11, 1952 a national DC-6 crashed in Elizabeth after takeoff from runway 24, killing 29 of 63 on board and 4 on the ground. Inevitably, the airport was closed for some months, airline traffic resumed later in the year, but the airports continued in popularity and the New York area's growing air traffic led to searches for new airport sites. A proposal to build a new airport at what is now the Great Swamp National Wildlife Refuge was defeated by local opposition. 
The April 1957 official airline guide showed 144 weekday passenger fixed wing departures from Newark, 40 Eastern, 19 Capital, 16 American, 14 United, 14 Mohawk, 13 Allegheny, 11 TWA, 8 National, 5 Delta and 4 Braniff. National had a non-stop to Miami, Eastern had non-stops to Miami, New Orleans and Houston, Braniff had a non-stop DC-7C to Dallas and TWA flew non-stop to St. Louis, no other non-stops to points west of St. Louis and no international non-stops, Eastern started a non-stop to Montreal in 1958, probably Newark's first scheduled international non-stop since 1939, though Eastern had non-stops to San Juan in 1951, jet airliners arrived in 1961. In 1964, American and TWA started flying non-stop to California, although Newark's longest runway was 7,000 feet 2, meters until 1970. TWA's 707 non-stop to Heathrow in 1978 was probably Newark's first transatlantic non-stop. <laughs> Late 20th century Through the early 1970s, Newark had a single terminal building located on the north side of the field, by what is now Interstate 78. In the 1970s the airport became Newark International Airport. Present terminals A and B opened in 1973, although some charter and international flights requiring customs clearance remained at the north terminal. The main building of Terminal C was completed at the same time, but only metal framing work was completed for the terminal satellites. It lay dormant until the mid-1980s, when for a brief time the west third of the terminal was equipped for international arrivals and used for some people express transcontinental flights. Terminal C was finally completed and opened in June 1988. Underutilized in the 1970s, Newark expanded dramatically in the 1980s. People Express struck a deal with the Port Authority to use the North Terminal as its air terminal and corporate office in 1981 and began operations at Newark that April. It grew quickly, increasing Newark's traffic through the 1980s. Virgin Atlantic began service between Newark and London in 1984, challenging JFK's status as New York's international gateway but Virgin Atlantic now has more flights at JFK than at Newark. Federal Express, now known as FedEx Express opened its second hub at the airport in 1986. When People Express merged into Continental in 1987, operations including corporate office operations at the North Terminal were reduced and the building was demolished to make way for cargo facilities in the early 1990s. This merger started Continental's and later United Airlines, dominance at Newark Airport. In late 1996 the monorail opened, connecting the three terminals, the overflow parking lots and garages, and the rental car facilities. A new international arrivals facility also opened in Terminal B that year. The monorail was expanded to the new Newark Airport train station on Amtrak's Northeast Corridor Line in 2001 and was renamed Airtrain Newark. Topic: 21st century After the hijacking and crash of United Airlines Flight 93 in the September 11 attacks in 2001 while en route from Newark to San Francisco, the airport's name was changed from Newark International Airport to Newark Liberty International Airport in 2002. This name was chosen over the initial proposal, Liberty International Airport at Newark, and pays tribute to the victims of the September 11 attacks and to the landmark Statue of Liberty, lying just 7 miles 11 kilometers east of the airport. A modern control tower was built in 2002 and opened in 2003. It is the fourth and tallest tower in the airport's history, standing 325 feet 99 meters over the main parking lot. In 2004, Singapore Airlines began the world's longest non-stop scheduled airline route to Newark from Singapore. The service ended on November 23, 2013 and resumed on the 11th of October 2018. Continental, now merged with United, began flying from Newark to Beijing on June 15, 2005 and to Delhi on November 1, 2005. The airline soon started flights to Mumbai. On July 16, 2007, Continental announced it would seek government approval for non-stop flights between Newark and Shanghai in 2009. 
Continental began flights to Shanghai from Newark on March 25, 2009, using Boeing 777-200 ER aircraft. Newark was the only New York area airport used by Philippine Airlines PAL, until financial problems in the late 1990s caused it to terminate this service. In March 2015, PAL resumed service to the New York metropolitan area routing to JFK Airport, and will not return to Newark, following the removal of the Philippines from the air safety blacklist of the Federal Aviation Administration FAA. In October 2015, Singapore Airlines announced intentions to resume direct non-stop service between Newark and its main hub at Singapore Chani Airport. For a time, the dates were not yet announced, but the Airbus A35900 ULR used on the flights will be delivered sometime in 2018. On May 30, 2018, Singapore Airlines officially announced that non-stop service between Newark and Singapore will resume on October 11, 2018 using the Airbus A35900 ULR. Singapore Airlines flights 21 and 22 will once again claim their title as the world's longest non-stop scheduled airline flights. In June 2008, flight caps were put in place to restrict the number of flights to 81 per hours. The flight caps, in effect until 2009, were intended to be a short-term solution to Newark's congestion. The FAA has since embarked on a seven-year-long project to reduce congestion in all three New York area airports and the surrounding flight paths. Newark is a major hub for United Airlines Continental Airlines before the 2010-12 merger. United has its global gateway at Terminal C, having completed a major expansion project that included a new third concourse and a new Federal Inspection Services facility. With its Newark hub, United has the most service of any airline in the New York area. On March 6, 2014 United opened a new 132,000 square foot 12,300 square meters, $25 million hangar on a 3-acre parcel to accommodate United's wide-body aircraft during maintenance. In 2015, the airline announced plans to leave JFK altogether and streamline its transcontinental operations at Newark. On July 7, 2016, the United States Department of Transportation announced that Newark was one of ten cities to first operate flights to Jose Marti International Airport in Havana, Cuba. As of 2012, United carried 71% of the airport's passengers. The two next busiest airlines, Delta Airlines and JetBlue Airways, each had less than 5%. In 2016, the Port Authority approved and announced a redevelopment plan to build a new Terminal A to replace the existing, which opened in 1973. The new Terminal A is expected to cost around $2.3 billion, and will include a new parking garage, 33 gates, and a walkway to connect the airtrain station, parking garage, and terminal. It is expected to be completed by 2022. Topic. Facilities Topic. Runways The airport covers 2,027 acres 820 hectares and has three runways and one helipad. 4L, 22R, 11,000 by 150 feet 3,353 meters times 46 meters asphalt, concrete, grooved 4R, 22L, 10,000 by 150 feet 3,048 meters times 46 meters asphalt, grooved 11 29ths, 6,726 by 150 feet 2,050 meters times 46 meters asphalt, grooved Helipad H140 by 40 feet 12 meters times 12 meters concrete runway 11 29ths is one of the three runways built during World War II. In 1952 runways 1 19th and 6 24ths were closed and a new runway 4 22nds now 4R, 22L opened at a length of 7,000 feet 2,100 meters. After 1970 this runway was extended to 9,800 feet 3,000 meters, shortened for a while to 9,300 feet 2,800 meters and finally reached its present length by 2000. Runway 4L, 22R opened in 1970 at a length of 8,200 feet 2,500 meters and was extended to its current length by 2000. All approaches except runway 29 have instrument landing systems and runway 4R is certified for category 3 approaches. 
Runway 22L had been upgraded to Cat 3 approach capability. Runway 4L, 22R is primarily used for takeoffs, while 4R, 22L is primarily used for landings, and 11 29ths is used by smaller aircraft or when there are strong crosswinds on the two main runways. Newark's parallel runways 4L and 4R are 950 feet 290 meters apart, the fourth smallest separation of major airports in the U.S., after San Francisco International Airport, Los Angeles International Airport and Seattle-Tacoma International Airport. Unlike the other two major New York area airports, JFK and LaGuardia, which are located directly next to large bodies of water, Jamaica Bay and the East River, respectively, and whose runways extend at least partially out into them, Newark Liberty, while located just across Interstate 95 from Newark Bay and not far from the Hudson River, does not directly front upon either body of water, so the airport and its runways are completely landlocked. Topic terminals Newark Liberty has three passenger terminals. Terminal A and Terminal B were completed in 1973 and have four levels. Ticket counters are on the top floor, except for the second floor while Air, Air Lingus, Virgin Atlantic, and Delta Airlines counters and first floor British Airways, Level, and Spirit Airlines counters in Terminal B gates and shops are on the third floor. In Terminal A, baggage carousels are on the second floor. In Terminal B, baggage carousels are on the first floor for domestic arrivals and on the second floor for international arrivals. Terminal B also has an international arrivals lounge on that floor. Finally, short-term parking and ramp operations restricted areas are on the ground floor of Terminal A. Terminal C, designed by Grad Associates and completed in 1988, has two ticketing levels, one for international check-in and one for domestic check-in. The main terminal building for Terminal C was built alongside Terminals A and B in the 1970s, but lay dormant until People Express Airlines took it over as a replacement for the former North Terminal when the airline's hub there outgrew the old facility. Upon opening, Terminal C had 41 gates, one departures level, one arrivals level, and an underground parking garage. The gates, and food and shopping outlets are located on a mezzanine level between the two check-in floors. Terminal A handles only domestic and Canadian flights served by JetBlue, Southwest, Air Canada, Air Canada Express, Alaska Airlines, American Airlines, American Eagle, and some United Express, i.e., ultra short haul flights. Terminal B exclusively handles foreign carriers and also handles flights to the Caribbean through JetBlue and other smaller carriers, Delta Airlines, Delta Connection, Elite Airways, Allegiant Airlines, and Spirit Airlines flights, and some of United's international flights. Terminal C is exclusively for United Airlines and its regional carrier United Express. From 1998 to 2003, Terminal C was rebuilt and expanded in a $1.2 billion program known as the Continental Airlines Global Gateway Project. The project, which was designed by Skidmore, Owings and Merrill, doubled the available space for outbound travelers as the former baggage claim, arrivals hall was remodeled and turned into a second departures level. Probably most significant was the addition of International Concourse C3, a spacious and airy new facility with capacity for a maximum of 19 narrowbody aircraft or 12 widebody planes. Completion of this new concourse increased Terminal C's mainline jet gates to 57. Concomitant with Concourse C3 is a new international arrivals facility. Also included in the project, a 3,400-space parking garage constructed in front of the terminal, a new airside corridor connecting concourses C1, C2 and C3, a new President's Club, now called United Polaris Lounge, for international Polaris business and Polaris first flights between C2 and C3, and all new baggage processing facilities, including reconstruction of the former underground parking area into a new baggage claim and arrivals hall. In 2008, Terminal B was renovated to increase capacity for departing passengers and passenger comfort. The renovations included expanding and updating the ticketing areas, building a new departure level for domestic flights and building a new arrivals hall. Plans are also in place to expand Terminal A by adding a new parking garage and radically expanding the size of the first concourse to add new gates, ticketing, baggage and security areas. Each terminal has three concourses, Terminal A, for instance, is divided into concourses A1, A2 and A3. Gate numbering starts in Terminal A with Gate 10 and ends in Terminal C with Gate 139. 
Wayfinding signage throughout the terminals was designed by Paul Mikesonar, who also designed signage for LaGuardia and JFK airports. Terminal A is the only terminal that has no immigration facilities. Flights arriving from other countries cannot use Terminal A except countries with U.S. customs preclearance, although some departing international flights use the terminal. Following the business model of the Port Authority's other facilities, in some cases entire terminals are operated by terminal operators and not by the Port Authority directly. At Newark Liberty, Terminal A and Terminal C are operated by United Airlines. Terminal B is the only passenger terminal directly operated by the Port Authority. In January 2012, Port Authority Executive Director Patrick Foy said $350 million would be spent on Terminal B, addressing complaints by passengers that they cannot move freely. That renovation is currently underway. Foy also said a new Terminal A may be built. Further developments were made in Terminal B when the Port Authority installed new LED fixtures in 2014. The LED fixtures developed by Sensity Systems, use wireless network capabilities to collect and feed data into the software that can spot long lines, recognize license plates, and identify suspicious activity and alert the appropriate staff. In November 2014, Airport Amenity Manager OTG announced a new $120 million renovation plan for Terminal C that includes installing 6,000 iPads and 55 new restaurants headed by celebrity chefs, with the first new restaurants opening in summer of 2015 and the whole project completed in 2016, the airport has 121 gates in the three terminals. Terminal A has 29 gates, Terminal B has 24 gates, and Terminal C has 68 gates. <laughs> Ground transportation Train A monorail system, Airtrain Newark, connects the terminals with Newark Liberty International Airport Station. The station provides direct rail connections to any station along New Jersey Transit's Northeast Corridor Line or North Jersey Coast Line, including regional transit hubs such as Newark Penn Station, Secaucus Junction and New York Penn Station where transfers are available to any rail line in northern New Jersey or Long Island, New York. Amtrak's Northeast Regional and Keystone service trains also stop at the Newark Liberty International Airport Station. A $5.50 fee for the airtrain is included with rail ticket purchases, with the exception of children 11 and younger and customers using monthly passes with the airport as the origin or destination. Passengers can also ride the airtrain for free between the terminals and the parking lots, parking garages, and rental car facilities. In September 2012, the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey announced that work would commence on a study to explore extending the PATH system to the station. The new station would be located at ground level to the west of the existing NJ Transit station. In 2014, the Board of Commissioners approved a formal proposal to extend the PATH to Newark Airport. On January 11, 2017, the PANYNJ released its 10-year capital plan that included $1.7 billion for the extension. Under the plan, construction is projected to start in 2020, with service in 2026. <laughs> Bus NJT buses operate northbound local service to Irvington, downtown Newark and Newark Penn Station, where connections are available to the PATH and NJ Transit rail lines. The GO Bus 28 is a bus rapid transit line to downtown Newark, Newark Broad Street Station and Bloomfield Station. Southbound service travels to Elizabeth, Lakewood, Toms River and intermediate points. Olympia Trails operates express buses to Port Authority Bus Terminal, Bryant Park and Grand Central Terminal in Manhattan and Super Shuttle, GO Airport Shuttle and GO Link operate shared taxi services. Road Private limousine, car service, and taxis also provide service to, from the airport. Taxis serving the airport charge a flat rate based on destination. For trips to, from New York, fares are set by the New York City Taxi and Limousine Commission. 
The airport is served directly by U.S. Route 19, which provides connections to Route 81 and Interstate 78, both of which have interchanges with the New Jersey Turnpike Interstate 95 at exits 13A and 14, respectively. Northbound, Route 19 becomes the Pulaski Skyway, which connects to Route 139. Route 139 continues east to the Holland Tunnel, which links Jersey City with Lower Manhattan. The airport operates short and long-term parking lots with shuttle buses and monorail access to the terminals. A free cell phone lot waiting area is available for drivers picking up passengers at the airport. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Airlines and destinations. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Passenger Carata Elite Airways flight from Newark to Bimini operates non-stop, but it occasionally stops at Orlando Melbourne on return. Topic: Cargo. Topic: Statistics. Topic: Top destinations Topic Airline market share As of 2012, United Airlines flies 72% of all passengers at Newark. Topic Annual traffic Topic Airport Information Newark Airport, along with LaGuardia and Kennedy Airports, uses a uniform style of signage throughout the airport properties. Yellow signs direct passengers to airline gates, ticketing and other flight services, green signs direct passengers to ground transportation services and black signs lead to restrooms, telephones and other passenger amenities. New York City traffic reporter Bernie Wagenblast provides the voice for the airport's radio station and curbside announcements, as well as the messages heard onboard Airtrain Newark and in its stations. The airport has the IATA designation EWR, rather than a designation that begins with the letter and because the designator of NEW is already assigned to Lakefront Airport in New Orleans, Louisiana, and because the Department of the Navy uses three-letter identifiers beginning with N for its purposes. The airport has no official area to view flight traffic, but the IKEA of Elizabeth located on the east side of the New Jersey Turnpike may be used as an unofficial vantage point for aircraft both departing and landing. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Accommodations. Within the Newark Liberty International Airport complex is a Marriott Hotel, the only hotel located on airport property. Shuttle vans operate between the hotel and terminals because the Marriott is not serviced by the monorail and there is no official walking route to the terminals, despite the Marriott's immediate proximity to the main parking lot between the terminals. <laughs> <laughs> Accidents and incidents On March 17, 1929, a Colonial Western Airlines Ford Tri motor suffered a double engine failure during its initial climb after takeoff, failed to gain height, and crashed into a railroad freight car loaded with sand, killing 14 of the 15 people on board. At the time, it was the deadliest aviation accident in American history. On December 16, 1951, a Miami Airlines C-46 Commando converted for passenger use lost a cylinder on takeoff from runway 28 and crashed in Elizabeth, New Jersey, killing 56. On January 22, 1952, American Airlines Flight 6780, a Convair 240, crashed in Elizabeth on approach to runway 6, killing 30. On February 11, 1952, National Airlines Flight 101, a Douglas DC-6, crashed in Elizabeth after takeoff from runway 24, killing 33. 
On April 18, 1979, a New York Airways commuter helicopter on a routine flight to LaGuardia Airport and John F. Kennedy International Airport plunged 150 feet 46 meters into the area between runways 4L, 22R and 4R, 22L, killing three passengers and injuring 15. It was later determined the crash was due to a failure in the helicopter's tail rotor. On July 31, 1997, FedEx Flight 14, a McDonnell Douglas MD-11, crashed while landing after a flight from Anchorage International Airport. The No. 3 engine contacted the runway during a rough landing which caused the aircraft to flip upside down, after which it was destroyed by fire. The two crew members and three passengers escaped uninjured. On September 11, 2001, Newark International Airport was the starting point of United Airlines Flight 93, a Boeing 757 that was hijacked as a part of the September 11 attacks. The flight was crashed into a field near Shanksville, Pennsylvania. On January 10, 2010, United Airlines Flight 634, an Airbus A319, made an emergency landing after the aircraft's right main landing gear failed to deploy. No passengers or crew members were injured during the landing. The aircraft sustained substantial damage in the accident. On January 21, 2013, ExpressJet Flight 4480, marketed as United Express 4480, from Rochester, New York, was landing when several rear tires blew. The plane veered onto a taxiway, but did not strike anything. The plane was carrying eight passengers and five crew members. No one was hurt. On May 1, 2013, Scandinavian Airlines Flight 908, an A330-300 that was cleared for takeoff, collided with an ExpressJet Embraer ERJ-145 aircraft on the taxiway. The ERJ-145 lost its tail in the accident. On May 18, 2013, a malfunctioning landing gear forced U.S. Airways Flight 4560 to make a belly landing. None of the passengers or crew were injured. See also New Jersey World War II Army Airfields Notes <laughs> <laughs>